Hey guys, this is uh, Michael with Tech Weekly. It's another special. I'm going to show you the donut update for uh, Android. I just got it today. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, you'll see that you have the new quick search box here at the top. It'll search through all your um, data, also the web, to search for something. So let's say I wanted to look for... Um, uh, to say application, I could type in Pandora and it'll pop up there and then you can click it of course and it'll take you to the thing and you see it also search here on the internet for Pandora, Panera Bread, anything that sounds remotely like it. So let's just get out of there. You can also do it by voice on there. Uh, another thing that you'll like to see is you can go to the settings here and you can go to about phone uh, uh, and battery use. And then here you see it'll say what is using the most battery. Obviously my display is using battery right now. And then you have Wi-Fi in the second, the system, and the core apps, and it's all standby. Um, oh, and just to prove that I do have the latest version, it says right here, firmware version 1.6. I don't know if you can see it, it's probably a little blurry, but it has 1.6 right there. Uh, another update was to the Android market. A lot of people were looking forward to this considering to make because it looks more organized and has just a, a cleaner UI. Let's see if it loads here. Okay. And then here you have, I guess, some the featured apps that usually appeared here on the top. But now you have them here, Bonsai Blast, Spreadsheet, OpenTable, Quick, etc. Uh, the search is up there. You can click search to look for all your stuff. And then you have your apps here, which you can go again to comics, finance, health. You can just go to all of them. And you have on there on the top of top paid, top free, and just in. Here are all the top paid apps, Power Manager, My Backup Pro, etc. You can click top free, it'll load up the top free apps. You have the T-Mobile My Account feature, MySpace Mobile, Backgrounds, Facebook. And then of course you can click just in. And I'll show you all the apps that just came. You have Droid Sensor here, um, Music Notes, etc. You can click on it for more information. And I'll take you to the info page. You'll have, you see it says here, it's not ready. For a donut and it could crash. Uh, usually it has screenshots, this one does not, so let me take you to one that does have screenshots. Uh, see if the T-Mobile My Account one does. And it does have screenshots down here, you can click on that and it will load up the screenshots you can see and you can flick to the right and it'll load up the second screenshot. Most of them only have two screenshots, I don't know if that is a limitation of Android or that's just how many most developers use, but that's just what I've noticed. Uh, the download page is really the same. It's a nice little graphic up there on the top, and it'll load up all your uh, all your um, applications and games, and it'll notify you if you have uh, any updates that you need to download, etc. Uh, another update was for YouTube. You can check here. It has another UI cleaner interface. You have your most viewed videos here, the most discussed. And then now you have a most recent. Now you have a little eye for info, kind of like you have on the iPhone and iPod Touch. You can click on the eye and it'll tell you more information about it. You can view the comments, rate it, share it, flag it, and then I'll have related videos here on the bottom. It's quite simple. Um, also, you, I've noticed that some apps that you have will not be compatible. For example, I have a toggle settings here. And if you click it, it opens this little thing down here and it'll say an unexpected error occurred. And then, of course, it'll tell you to force close it when you go when you click back and so you just force close it and it'll go away I'm assuming that these apps will be updated in the near future considering that Donut is being pushed out now to all Android users I have a G1 as you can see so if you do have a G1 um, the processor might be not um, as fast as it would be for example the web browser was supposed to be was supposed to be quicker with Donut but since I have a slower processor than let's say the MyTouch 3G or the upcoming HTC Hero it's not going to be. It's not the quick. The new quickness is not going to be as significant. Again, I can show you the camera app here because there's another UI change. As you can see right here, now you can just flip the switch up here, and it goes into video mode with the capture button here on the bottom and the recently shot um, picture or video at the top. Flick it again down, and it goes again to picture mode. And you can see it has a little frame here on the sides, which is kind of nice to have. Uh, other than that, there are not really that many cha other changes to it. Um, you still have the apps, uh, widgets, etc. Um, overall, Donut is a nice addition. It brings a lot of new 
uh, UI changes. What I noticed is that when I updated it, the YouTube app and the Amazon MP3 app that I have here uh, told me that the apps were installed. I had to hold, click and hold on it, drag it to delete it, and then go back to the menu and put them back on the screen. I don't know why this happened. Maybe it was just me, but that's what happened. You should be getting your donut update pretty soon. They started pushing it out, I believe, this weekend to developers and apparently now to the rest of the community. As you can see now I'm on Wi-Fi, I live, um, well, I'm from Miami, but I'm in Gainesville now, so I only have Edge, they don't have, T-Mobile hasn't rolled out, rolled out his 3G network here in Gainesville. So I'm on Wi-Fi, so it'll be a little quicker. Um, and that's it, if you have any other questions regarding Android uh, 1.6 or Android in general, uh, just leave a comment or video reply below, and make sure to rate and subscribe to my videos on Twitter at CubanMike82. Thanks, and I'll see you later.